Welcome back, MMA Odds Breaker, Emmanuel Newton, the hardcore kid, getting ready to fight. Joey Beltran came up here on, uh, in Bellator September 12th, right? September 12th? Yes, sir. I'm kind of confused because Bellator is not going every week every, anymore, so it kind of throws me off a little bit, you know? Um, Joey Beltran, when he first announced his fight, a lot of the fans weren't happy with it. Like, why Joey Beltran? Why is he fighting for the title? Like, how did he get himself in there? Do you believe that Joey is the next in line for, for your title? No, no, not at all. You know, it should either be, you know, like Rampage or Tito or, or, or even one of those guys. But, um, you know, but I needed a fight. You know, they were they were trying to to say, you know, well, we, we need to save you till November. I'm, you're probably going to put on a, a pretty decently big show in November. So I think they're trying to save me till then. But, you know, it's like I haven't fought since March. You know, it's like, you know, I got a family. I got bills to pay. So they got to guys to give me something. And they were like, well, we'll see what we can do. And, uh, you know, and Beltran's a gamer, so he stepped up. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, they, you know, there's none. I'm sure his manager was just like, you know, hey, you know, if we're going to, if he's going to fight Emmanuel, it's got to be for the title. So they were like, you know, Emmanuel needs a fight, so let's do it. So you wanted Rampage or Tito, but they weren't available because of what reason? Like, Rampage just, just won. He just beat uh, uh, King, King Lawal, King Muhammad Lawal. And then uh, why, why aren't these other guys available, or are they just trying to hold them off until this big November card? Well, the thing is with me and Rampage is that, you know, we all have the, we have the same trainer, you know, Antonio. And then, uh, you know, me and him, we're, we're pretty close, you know. We, we hang out and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So I think uh, in order for me and Rampage to fight, I think, uh, you know, it would definitely have to be on a, a bigger card. You know, you know, the money would have to be right. And uh, so that's what's going on with that. And then with Tito, I know, I know that they're, they're planning on him, probably him fighting, uh, you know, a couple other guys, you know, and, uh, you know, maybe building them up a little more before before me and him go at it. So, so I don't know. I mean, I just know that Beltran's the only one that stepped up and, uh, you know, and I needed a fight. And I'm sure if they would have probably waited until November, then maybe I would have got like a Rampage or a Tito and we would have made that, made that deal happen. But I needed to fight sooner than that. So they gave me gave me Beltran. You know, we're talking about Tito, the, the rumor is that he's going to fight Stefan Bonner, who's coming out of retirement. Uh, he, he gets beat by Anderson Silva. Um, retires, and then a couple of days later fails a drug, you know, the result comes out from a drug test that he failed. Yeah. And now all of a sudden he decides to unretire. He's going to fight in Bellator because he wants to beat up, you know, Tito Ortiz. Do you, do you think Stefan is, is, is worthy of coming over to Bellator after having, you know, he, that's twice for him that he's actually failed drug tests, and now he's going to jump over to Bellator now and, and, and just supposedly he's going to come over and, and beat up, you know, try to beat up Tito? You know, do you think Bellator's smart trying to bring a guy like that over to the organization? Uh, I mean, Stefan, He's really good, uh, you know, with my media, all this stuff. Like, I know he got a lot. So I, I think bring a lot of fans over to watching Bellator, you know, with Stefan Bonner fighting for them. So right now I think with Bellator, it's more just about like, you know, with Scott Coker in there now, you know, we're really trying to revamp everything. Yeah. So I think I think we're just, we're bringing guys in and saying, hey, you know, let's give it a whirl. You know, why not Stefan was, you know, multiple, you know, multiple time, you know, UFC fighter. So, uh, you know, so why not bring him over? He is tough. He puts on good fights, you know, so, uh, so so why not? You know, the fans will like it. You know, people will watch it and, you know, it'll be, a, you know, a barn burner. So So let's do it. What about Joey Beltran? You said he's not the next guy in line, but he is tough, and he's the only one that stepped up. Is that scary because he doesn't have anything to lose? Like, if he loses to you, he wasn't, he's supposed to lose to you anyway because he's not the next guy in line, but he has a high potential of beating you? I mean, is that, is that the situation we're seeing here? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. You know, like you say, he has nothing to lose. You know, he's just, uh, you know, he's getting a chance. It's a title fight. You know, you know he, he gets to win, you know, then, then he becomes a champion. You know, he gets a loss, you know, no big deal. You know, he'll lose and end up putting him against somebody else. So, so yeah, I mean, it's not so much scary to me. You know, I think I think when it comes around, I think jo Joey Beltran's a good matchup for me because, uh, you know, like my last opponent, Attila, you know, he was just waiting and trying to counter me. You know, I think I threw like, you know, 260 strikes, 300 strikes or something like that. So it was like 115 the whole fight, you know. So I was saying Beltran's not that kind of fighter. Beltran's the kind of guy who's going to stay in your face. He's going to push it. He's a brawler. He's going to come and get it. But like, that's real good for my style because then that's when, you know, my, my spinning stuff, 360 will kicks and spinning back kicks and all that stuff comes into play real well in, uh, you know, countering him. So, uh, you know, and I think I'm a, I know I'm a better wrestler. I know I'm a better striker. You know, so I just think, uh, you know, I think this, this fight's mine. You know, like I said, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, you know, look down on any of my opponents, you know, but I, but, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't think Joey Beltran stands a chance against me. Now, how do you feel that, that, that this is, say this fight gets in the third round and it's split. You win one round, he wins one round. What's going to happen in the third round? Like, how do you think cardio is going to come into factor coming, coming into this third, coming into a third round? Not, this obviously not the last round of the fight, but coming into the third round now it's split. What do you think is going to happen? I, you know, Joey Beltran, you know, his, his cardio is good, but he's never fought anybody like me that 
high pace, like I throw, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm always moving. I'm always getting better, you know, like I, I've just been working continuously, getting better, continuously adding new techniques, continuously adding different kind of martial arts striking to, to, to my arsenal. So, you know, I, I don't think he, I don't think that he's going to be able to, to find anybody in his camp that's going to be able to, uh, you know, to, to mimic me, you know, and uh, so, right. so just, I, I think if it goes to the third round, you know, then, uh, then, you know, I'll just pick up the pace and keep pushing forward and, uh, you know, and I'll just, you know, look for the takedown and, and I'll strike them and wherever the fight goes, I'm going to be ready. I'm prepared, and uh, you know it's, it's it's mine to win. It's my title, and I'm not losing it. You know, I need to go back to Rampage for a second. You guys have the same train with Antonio McKee, and he said for you two to fight, the money would have to be right. Was there money clause for you guys to fight each other? Because you, are you under a contract where your money's the money? Like just whatever you're getting paid is what you're getting paid. Like I, I don't see how Bellator is going to give you more money just to fight somebody different. Well, I mean, like I said, like, I'm sure Bella, they're, they're planning on, they're going to be doing some pay-per-views here pretty soon, you know, especially with Scott stepping in. You know, uh, we're getting ready to, to like I said, they're gonna, this is going to be the last season, you know, I think of, like, the, the whole tournament the whole tournament thing and everything like that. So right. I know they're going to revamp and, and, and re redo everything. So, you know, so things are going to things are gonna change, you know. So, with, like, a fight like me and Rampage, you know, the fans would really want to see it. You know, it, it'd be an easy fight to promote, an easy fight to get people to watch. So, so definitely, and Rampage is a tough fight, you know. Like, you know, only, all it takes is one, one punch from that man and, and you're, you're waking up on the floor, you know, so, uh, so you know, so, but also, I said, but also, I'm a, I'm a tough fight for Rampage, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I have a chin, I've never been knocked out, you know, like, I, I can't remember the last time I got, like, dazed in a fight or even got my bell rung, you know, I keep my chin tough, I come forward, you know, I, I'm always going to be firing, you know, my cardio is always good, so it's a tough fight for Rampage, too, so I think we definitely, and like I said, we have the same train, same coach, you know, so, so, Antonio would have to step out of the picture, because Antonio even said, if these guys fight, I'm not going to be in the picture, I'm just going to step out and just, let them do the training and let them get it on. So, so I mean, there's a lot of factors going into that fight. So we, we have definitely have to make sure, you know, that uh, that everything everything fits, you know, everything makes sense, you know, and, and so we're not just going in there and, you know, fighting for peanuts. I mean, especially me, you know, obviously Rampage is the bigger draw, and I understand that, and I know that he's going to make more money on, than me no matter what. But at the same time, I don't want to fight him for peanuts, you know. I want to make sure that I'm making my money. So so I want to go out here, you know, I want to, I want to finish Beltran, you know, and then whoever else they have after that. And then, you know, and then, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, my, my quota will go up and, uh, you know, and the money will be better. And then, you know, a fight like me and Rampage can happen. All right, last question before I let you out of here. For you, not necessarily the tougher fighter, but who's the tougher fight for you, Rampage or Tito Ortiz? You know, I just think with Paige, you know, he's hard to take down, and he hits hard, man. I mean, he, you know, he, 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 all, like, all it takes is one from him, and you get on him. And Rampage is one of those guys that can really suck him into a brawl. You know, he's always pushing forward. So, uh, so I think Rampage is definitely a tougher fight for me. And, uh, you know, and like I say, and I, we have the same train, too. So, but, I mean, that's going to be a it's gonna be a mental factor, too, stepping into the ring, you know, and uh, we know each other, so that, too. Excuse me. And I know Tito, too, you know. I mean, I, I, I started out training with Tito, you know. You know, right when I when I was 18 years old, that's where I started training with. But uh, you know, but I but I but I think uh, that that Tito would definitely be an easier fight for me. I think uh, Tito's still very old school in his uh, you know, in his style of fighting. I think he still got something like you said. I think he still got some of the best ground and pound, you know, in MMA. But um, you know, but I I see him taking me down. I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. If he does take me down, like you saw with Muhammad Lawal, I'm just gonna get right back up, you know, and uh, you know, and he push the pace and stay in his face. So so I mean, I think that uh that that would be a better fight for me, an easier fight for me than Rampage. That's Mel Newton getting ready to fight Joy Beltran come up here on Bellator on September 12th. Manuel, thanks for taking some time with us tonight. We'll talk to you later on, bud. Thanks, Frank. Take care, guys.